All right, he's calling. Hello? I hear you. Is this Christian Prince? Yes, we are live on air, my friend. Okay, it's good. Um, may I, I listen may, may you introduce yourself may you introduce yourself to us so people they will hear you and know who mm. we are talking to who I am Muhammad from the Middle East and oh. inshallah I, I intend to expose you on this call okay well that's good go ahead expose me my friend go ahead yes I'm calling you because of what you, of your claims mm. regarding the uh, consistent the, the uh, <coughs> consistency of the Trinity and your um, your claim that the, the, the concept of Tawheed is uh, irrational. First of all, I never said <coughs> that uh, I don't believe in one, one God. I believe that you Muslim, when you say the word Tawheed and you speak Arabic, as I guess, Tawheed does not mean one God. Tawheed means unification of many things, correct? The, 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 the term Tawheed is irrelevant. What we know is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that He is one. Yeah, but he never say anything about Tawheed, right? He said in the Quran, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ أَحَدْ does not mean one. وَإِلَهُكُمْ إِلَهٌ وَاحِدٌ Your Lord is my one friend, My friend, my friend. Okay. إِلَهُكُمْ إِلَهُ Who is the one who is talking? Allah. Okay. How Allah, he says that your God is one God. If he is the God, why he don't say, I am your God and I am one God? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that he is the one God. All right. If you go in the Quran, do you have your Quran with you? I memorized the Quran. Inshallah, I will be able to. No record. problem. If we go in the Quran, verse number one, it says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Who is talking there? Allah. Okay. How Allah is saying the name of Allah if He is the one who is talking? It is irrelevant. This is a question. There is a disease in your heart. Uh, which see, you are the not... second I ask you a question which is embarrassing, you say, it's a, I have a disease in my heart. The second no, I I'm ask you a question, which I'm is kidding. which is a clearly you have no answer for it. What you start, you start insulting. What kind of debate Allah is debate? Speaks, Allah speaks, are you calling Allah are you calling me to insult me to say to me? Because your God he said to you, Oh, those who they are uh, uh, they have a disease in their heart, they can't understand the Quran, correct? So this is no, why you are no, saying to me this is this is not what I came to call you about. You you claimed that Tawheed is irrational. You don't have Tawheed in Islam. How you have Tawheed, but yet you pray you you you, you kiss a black stone. We don't pray to anything besides Allah. My friend, did, did, did your prophet kiss a black stone? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. You believe in one God. The God is inside the stone or he is above in heaven? He is above the heavens. So why you kiss the black stone? We kiss it as as uh, an act of worship to Allah. See, guys, did, he, did, you hear, did, did you hear Mr. Muhammad saying he kissed the black stone as an act of worship to Allah? So the black stone is Allah and the earth. No, you just said that everybody heard you. You said you kissed mm -hmm. the black stone as an act of worship. Guys, did he say that, or I'm the one who said that? I am not the one who said that, my friend. You said I kissed the black Allah, stone Allah, as an Allah, act Allah, of worship Allah, to Allah. Allah. Okay, what is the connection between the stone and Allah? How you kiss the black stone to worship Allah? Explain to us. Go ahead. The black stone is a creation, and everything is created by Allah. Only Allah is the uncreated being, <clears throat> He is the only eternal being. Did you say, did, did you say? Allah is the only uncreated? Yes. Okay, so what is the Quran then? The Quran is an attribute of Allah. Okay, so it is created or not created? It is uncreated, but it is not. We do not say that. Okay, it is hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a very uh, simple question for you. Is the Quran going to be destroyed? The Quran is from Allah. He spoke it. This, this, this is not Allah. my friend. This is not my question. Is the Quran going to be destroyed? It will return to Allah. No, that's not the question. I'm, I'm not asking you it's going to return, will stay. What return? It's with Allah anyway, isn't it? In the Luh al Mahfud, in the, in the, in the no, protected board? It subsists in Allah. My friend, my friend. My question, Allah. my friend, my question is simple. Is the, 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 the Quran is going to be destroyed or it's preserved? It is eternal. I, do, I never said the Quran is eternal. So is it eternal or not? Either you say, my friend, why do you don't want to answer the question? Is the Quran eternal or not? I will, I will answer you if you answer me this question. See, Allah's, no, 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 my friend, you don't uh, answer a question by a question. Answer me. I mean, this is your religion. You do not know if your book is eternal or not. Is the Quran, the word of Allah, is it eternal or not? The Quran is not eternal, but it is uncreated. So what does that mean? Will be destroyed? I, I, doesn't, I didn't say it will be destroyed. I said it will return to Allah. But, but the return does not make it an eternal because the return is still there. Is it eternal or not? 
It returns in the sense this that is, this is not the question. This is not the question. Is the Quran days. going to stay forever and ever and ever, or is going not to stay forever and ever and ever? Is it there forever or no? Is is an action of Allah? Does it stay forever? My friend, the fact that Allah created my friend, you, does it so, stay okay. forever? So you are saying the Quran will be destroyed, right? I'm saying that it is not eternal. This is okay, so make it clear. Uh, when you say it's not eternal, it means it's going to be destroyed. Is that correct? It doesn't it, we don't say it will be destroyed? We don't say it perishes. So what but do you mean? Not so how you say it is not eternal, and then you say it's, it's not going to be destroyed? So how, what will happen to it? What, what, when you say it's not going to be eternal, what will happen to the Quran? The Quran is an attribute of Allah. It is a quality of Allah. My friend, it my friend. So are you are you saying to me you are going to destroy the quality of Allah? It doesn't the qualities of Allah do not get destroyed. So how you, you say the Quran is not eternal then? If this is one of the attribute of Allah, it is one of the quality of Allah. And then you say to me is not going to be forever. So you are saying to me the quality of Allah are not eternal. The qualities of Allah, some of them are eternal, like his knowledge, his power. Is the, is the word of Allah if of his knowledge or it is not from his knowledge? Of his knowledge. So how you it say is, the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks the Quran by his will and power. My friend, this and is not the question. This is not the question. How you say that the Quran is of the knowledge of Allah, and then in the same time to, to, to me, you say to me, it is not eternal. That's mean the knowledge of Allah is not eternal. Yeah, the key. It is not eternal in the sense that he speaks it. What speaks it? What, what speaks it? What do you mean? Are you Allah going to be mute? What, what, what do you mean? Allah will lose his ability to have a voice? What do you mean? No, Who cares if he speak it or not? My friend, my friend, he speak it or he don't speak it. It doesn't matter. He said it already. The one, the words he said, those are from yeah. the attribute of Allah. And you said that and you agreed. This is are from the attribute of Allah. And I said to you, what is the word of Allah? He said from his knowledge. So now he, his knowledge is not eternal. His knowledge is eternal. So the Quran is from his knowledge. And you said that already. So how is going to be destroyed? The Quran Quran is spoken by his will. My friend, power. my friend, the Quran in the book here. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the Quran, the one Allah He said, not in the book. Who care about the book? The book is a page. I print it, you burn it. I can, you know. Quran, this is not the my Quran question, said, Abdul. You are running away from the question. The Quran which Allah, Allah He said, the Quran, the Quran which Allah He spoke, the Quran which Allah He spoke in His mouth, huh? Not the one he printed in the book in ink, not the physical book. Who care about that one? So that Quran, the word of the word of Allah, the word of Allah is an attribute, is an attribute of Allah. Is it going to be destroyed? Yes or no? It returns to Allah. This is not the question. This is not the question, guys. Look at this guy. Look at this Abdul. I ask him, is the is the word the, the, the uh, attribute of Allah? He says yes. Is it, I said, is the attribute of Allah is eternal? He says yes. And then I ask him, what will happen to it? He said, you will return. Who cares if it return or not? I am asking you, is the eternal is it is is the word of Allah which you said it is the attribute of Allah, which you said that it is from the knowledge of Allah, is it going to be destroyed? Yes or no? What is your point? If you see, you are scared to answer, you are scared to answer. You I call me, you insist to I debate me, you are begging me for a debate, and when I put you in the corner, what's your point? Answer me, and I will tell you my point. Answer me, answer me. Don't run away from the question saying, what's your point? You will see my point. So let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Hold on. I know Muslims are slow. So we go from the zero. No, the Quran will return to Allah. The Quran, I'm, I'm just repeating what you said. The Quran will return to Allah. The Quran is from attribute of Allah. The Quran is yes. the word of Allah. It is from the knowledge of Allah. I asked you, is the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? You said, no. It is eternal. All right. So now the Quran cannot be destroyed because it must be eternal for it is from the word of Allah. So now what will happen to the Quran? I did not say it is eternal. You said it is from the attribute of Allah. Did you say that or yes. no? Yes. Okay. So are you saying the attribute of Allah will be destroyed? I'm saying the attributes of Allah, some of them, they are eternal, like his knowledge and his power. But you say that the Quran is from the knowledge of Allah, is it or no? It's part of the knowledge. So are you saying the knowledge of Allah? Are you saying the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? The speech itself, how can how who can care about the speech? I'm not talking about the speech, man. I'm not talking about the speech. What's a speech? Are we talking about George Bush making a speech? We are talking about God. This is the word of God. This is not a speech. God don't speak in vain. God don't say stupid things. Are you saying to me that Allah He said some stupid stuff, those will be destroyed, and some important stuff that they will stay? I'm not talking about that. I'm saying that Allah He have words, and those words are they. 
part of his attribute? You said yes. Okay. This, I those just, words, uh, those words. That, listen, listen, listen. Don't tell me there is some, there's some important, some not important. This is an insult to your God. My God, his words is internal and they are important. There's not, no silly words God he say. So I'm asking you now, maybe, maybe your God, maybe your God, he have a silly words. I understand. Listen, listen. Now I'm asking you, let me repeat again. Please, let us not to shout, go over each other so we can have an end for this conversation in a nice way. This words, the one you said, it is from the knowledge of Allah. is going to return for him. That's wonderful. Okay. What does that mean? What will happen? Explain. What will happen? You said it is part of his knowledge. It is of his knowledge, attribute. So what yes. will happen to the attribute of Allah, which is the word of Allah? Go ahead. The attribute of Allah was spoken in time. That attribute of Allah, which is his spoken words, was spoken in time. He spoke the Quran after having not spoken the Quran. However, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we say that he has speech, we, 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 we nonetheless understand that he has always been speaking things, his words, by his will and power, hmm. whenever he wills, however he wills. So when you say that a, a specific spoken word is eternal, that is nonsense. Did, did I say a, spo a specific spo spoke? I said the word of Allah, the Quran is one of the words of Allah. Allah, he spoke a lot. He talked, he, he keep talking according to Islam. Okay, so now the words of Allah, all of it, it cannot be but some it, of it important. My, my friend, my friend, my friend, you are be you are you are not you are not being respectful to your God because what you are saying to me, your God, he uh, considers some of his words important and the rest are silly. You are silly, uh, Christian. Well, you are the one saying that to me. You are saying that some words are going to be preserved and some words will not be preserved. Why they will not preserve? Why? Is it all the word of Allah? Is the, is the word of Allah is the word of Allah equal to each other? Is it or not? The word of Allah is uncreated. This is yeah, not the, the question. The this is not the question. Other. Okay. If I, if the word of Allah is not a created, so where is the word of Allah coming from? It's from Allah. So how it's not a create any created, but yet it's coming from Allah. That's mean that Allah is not the one who brought the Quran. He borrowed it from somebody else. He just that spoke it. My friend, my friend, creation, you just say something very important. Abdul, Abdul, listen. You just spoke of something very important, very serious. Who spoke the word of the word? You said Allah. Okay. Is the word of Allah created? You say no. Okay. So now we have any created word. Allah spoke it. So it cannot be from him because he is not the one who created it. What does it mean for a thing to be speaking a word? You answer. My friend, I am I am now. What does it mean I, to be speaking the word? Say, say what again. Does it mean? Say again. Your voice was cutting. What does it mean for a thing to speak a word? Well, uh, as an example, your prophet, he said the tree speak, the wolf speak. You know the stones. Yes. The, the stones. Yes. They say to Muhammad, "Assalamu alaikum." Crazy people. Sorry. They hear stuff, and that's none of my business. Now, this is not my question. Don't change the topic. Listen. Don't change the topic. When your prophet, when your prophet, the stones say to him, "Assalamu alaikum," and he say, "Hada jabalun yuhibuna wa jabalun yuhibuhu." This is a mountain. The mountain say, "Assalamu alaikum" to your prophet. Everybody speaking Islam, but that's not the question. The question is, your prophet, he's your, your prophet. He gave you Quran, gave you the word of Allah. Allah, he spoke. You said to me now. Everybody heard you. That those who spoken words is the word of Allah, but is not created by Allah. That's very dangerous. So where did Allah he got the words? You are, you are being silly, uh, Miskin. You are you are saying that uh, when a mountain speaks, it is the mountain that speaks. It is not Allah who speaks. My friend, I'm not talking about the. I'm giving you an example now. This is not the question. Focus with the Abdul. Focus. You said that Allah is the one who spoke the words, but he did not create the words. That's mean he is borrowing the word. Those are not his, my friend. Where Allah he got the words from? What do you mean he borrowed the words? The spoken be words? Because, the you said, because you said, because you said, because you said, my friend, Allah did not create the word. So where he got the words from? What do you mean the words? The words are his. The words of he Allah. Says, How you say it is his, but it's not a created. It is his. Okay, his what? Who is the one who created the word? Is it Allah created the word? Allah did Allah create His words? Yes or no? No. Okay, guys, guys, Allah He spoke them only. He did not create them. That's mean He did, He's not yes. the one. That's mean He is not the one who made them. I speak now. I can speak the word of Allah. I can read the Quran. Okay, I'm speaking those words, but it's not mine. So now you you just you just confirm to us that Allah is a God who speak words, but those are not His His words. The words of Allah are uncreated, so it's meaningless to say that who created the words of Allah. Abdul, it's uncreated. So how Allah He is speaking the words, and He claimed those are His word if He is not the one who created them. 
He did not create his words. He spoke them. My uh, friend, no problem. You are saying to me that Allah, he speak, but he don't create the words. That's wonderful. I have a TV station here. The TV, I will open the TV for you and you will see the TV speaking, but it's not his word. It's the guy who speak there in the, in the studio. So now you are telling me that Allah is the same as a TV. He speak the words, but he did not create the words. The, the words of Allah are, re, are related to Allah, whereas the words of human beings are related to human beings. I don't care it's related to who. I'm saying to you, as long as Allah, he speak the word, but he did not create the word. That's crazy. How he speak the words, but those are not his words. Is it his word or the, the word of the neighbor? Where the word uh, of Allah is coming from? You said it is not Allah who created, right? He spoke it in time. My friend, I don't care. He spoke it in time. He spoke it before time. This is not the question. You, we heard that he spoke them, but he ne did not make them. Who is the maker of the words of Allah? There's no creator. There's no creator. So they came from where? They are his attributes of speech. My friend, his they attribute of his speech, but you told me is not eternal. You told me a second ago, they are not eternal. So Allah attribute is not eternal. So Allah is not eternal. Because the second you say to me, attribute of God is not eternal. That means God himself is not eternal because this is one of his attributes. That doesn't follow. This this is a big mistake. Abdul, it's when your you mistake. Allah, you need to explain God, to me. You see, you were so excited about worshiping one God and we turn to be having that God who is the crazy God who says stupid things. And you Muslims, you come with the with a stupid philosophy. It does not make sense. God, he speaks word, but he does not create them. How that can happen? Just the prince, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks and when he acts, those actions are not created. I'm not talking Allah about the action and your God never act anything. What action? Your God, he cannot do anything. He, your God, he said to Muhammad, read it three times and still Muhammad cannot read. He's squeezing three times and still Muhammad cannot read. My Lord Jesus, he said to that dead man, come from the grave. He rose from the grave. My Jesus, he said to the man, see, he saw. My Jesus, he said to the man who cannot walk, walk, he walk. Your God said to Muhammad three times, read and still he cannot read and he die, he cannot read. What action? Now go back to the zero. Go back to zero, Abdul. Listen. How Allah he speak words, how Allah he speak words, but yet he don't create the words which he speak. Go ahead. Because they subsist in his being. They are of God. They Thank you very God. much, guys. Did he say they are of God? Did he say they are of God? Of God. Of God. Okay. How they are of God, but they are not created of God. Uh, like his knowledge, it is of God. So the his knowledge, knowledge is not a created. Thank you very much. So his knowledge is not a created. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Quran is of his knowledge. Is that correct? It is of his knowledge, a part of Thank his you. Knowledge. Thank you. So how are you saying to me that now his knowledge will be destroyed? His, I did not say that his knowledge will be destroyed. You said it's not eternal. eternal. You said it's not eternal. Is it eternal or not? It's not eternal because it has a beginning and it has an end. So the knowledge of Allah have beginning? Are you saying that? No, the, the speech of Allah How you just said, no, I'm not talking about the speech, man. I'm not talking about the speech. I am not talking about the speech. Stop playing like a kid. I'm talking about the word of God, which is the knowledge of God, the speech who care because there is many words. My friend, let me let, let me school you. Are you are you sure you are a Muslim? I am sure that you are lying. OK, are you sure? Are you sure you are a Muslim? Say yes. I am a Muslim. OK, did, are you saying the Quran did lie when the Quran says that the, if the if the ocean is an ink? Yes, OK, will not be enough. The ocean will be finished before Allah finishes speaking yes or no I believe in this yes okay so how you say to me that Allah he spoke in certain time and that's it is going to be over chapter 18 verse number 109 confirming hold on let me let me explain to the people they are listening and laughing how you say that Allah word will come back to him and he will stop talking which means he will stop talking and that will be deleted when the Quran confirm that if the ocean was ink will not be enough to write the word of Allah, which means the word of Allah never stop. Because Allah has always been speaking by his will and power. Whenever my friend, my friend, you, you see, you are contradicting yourself. Islam is a mockery. Islam is a mockery, my friend. How, 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 listen, 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 we cannot talk in the same time. How the Quran confirm that the word of Allah is not enough to write them the sea water if it is an ink and do you know how much that ink is like the whole Quran now I can I can print it in less than a quarter of a cup 
So Allah must be speaking a lot now, a lot, non-stop. He's like a radio course, station. Yes. Okay. He has always been now, speaking. Oh, so, thank you very much, guy. Did he say he's always been speaking? Thank you very much. You said that Allah, he spoke only in certain time, but now you are saying Allah is always speaking. So the speaking words That's of Allah, well. which is always coming, what the point of it if nobody can hear it? And why Allah no. speaking always? No, and why he speak too time. much? And why he's talking no. to himself? Let's listen, you, 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 you are in big trouble. Allah, he keep talking, guys, but non-stop talking forever. And he said that, he confirmed that. Now, Allah is speaking to who now? He speaks to whomever he wills of his creation. Who, 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 who? Uh, did, didn't you say Muhammad is the last prophet? So he's speaking to who? He, he always, he is always speaking. He speaks to his angels. Speak speaks to himself. To, huh? Speak to his speak angels. To but you just said his the word the word the word will be destroyed. The word the, the eternal. Why he speak to the angel? What he will say to them? What what what? Listen, 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 listen. My, my, Abdul, let us go back to zero. Let's go back to zero. Is the Quran? Is the Quran part of the word of Allah? Yes or not? The Quran is part of the word of Allah. Okay. Is it holy or not? Is it? Is it holy or not? What do you mean by holy? Holy, you don't know what holy now. You do not know what holy mean. It is a divine, it is uncreated. Guys, did he say it's a divine? Did he did he say the Quran is a divine? Did you hear it? Guys, did you hear it? The Quran is divine. How you say to me the divine is not eternal? Because it is an action of Allah. You see, the Quran is not an action. Are you a fool? The Quran is words, cannot be action. Don't, stop being it, stupid. It secondly, second, secondly, secondly, how the action can be divine? Are you stupid or what? Action is an action. Are you saying, uh, my, my friend, are my you friend, saying, my friend, the action, to, the to action, you. the action. The, listen, Abdul, listen. You said it is divine. Do you know what divine means? Divine means uncreated to do with God. Divine is uncreated, but it is God. When you say divine, it's mean it is God itself. That that is what God. God is divine. Is God Himself. My we friend, my friend. Okay, so now we have. So based on you, we have two divine. We have Allah and we have the Quran. There are no two persons. There is one person. There are one person. So you are saying that the Quran is a person. The Quran is not a person. So the how Quran you said how you said there's no third person? You said they are divine. They are too divine. How they can be too divine? But yet the Quran is not a person. The Quran is not a person. It is an attribute. Don't My friend, you, know the difference you, you see, you see. Now you go back to zero. How it is the attribute of Allah, which is the knowledge of Allah according to you, and yet is going to be destroyed. Which means you are destroying one of the the most important attribute of God, which is His knowledge. But you believe in God, your Christian prince. My friend, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. What, how you say? How you say the attribute of Allah will be destroyed? You know, you, you know what? You know what? I, I have a challenge for you. Can you show me what reference it says that the Quran will be destroyed? It says, uh, uh, used to say, So it, it, nowhere it says that he will be destroyed. What are you talking about? Does that mean? Be honest. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Does that mean? What he says from him, it started for or to, to him is going back. That means destroyed. No, show me no. A reference. Show me a reference, please. You see, you see, you keep talking about the Quran will be destroyed, but until now, you did not use you did not even give me I one did reference. Not say that it will be destroyed. So it's not going, it thank you very much, guys. It is not will be destroyed. If you go back, if you go back in the video, he said it's not eternal. How it's not going to be destroyed, but yet it's eternal, not, not eternal. What do you mean by destroyed? Do you mean my friend, the, you that, are the one who said you is not you know what destroyed means. Don't play game now. now. You, it is I not can't going to be that it has an end. Listen, I can't accept listen, that it listen, has listen, an listen, end. listen. You said it's not going to be destroyed, and in the same time, you said it is not eternal. Destruction is like creation. When Allah creates a tree, he then destroys it and he makes it perish into the earth. This is not the in question, sense, my friend. This, this is, is not the question. This is the question. No, this is not the question. Destruction, yeah. destruction, destruction, yeah. destruction yeah. should be first. First yeah. of all, oh, no, no, no. Destruction can happen only for something created in order to be this. Because if you did not create something, then you cannot destroy nothing, right? So, how Allah can, yeah. how Allah, how you, how you say, my friend? So, is the Quran, so, is the Quran. Is the Quran, which is divine according to you, which is the word of Allah according to you, which is part of the knowledge of Allah according to you, which is according, it is a, a part of the attribute or one of the attribute of Allah according to you, which is the knowledge of Allah according to you. Is it going to have an end or not? It's, I can't accept that it has an end. You cannot, it doesn't, it's, you can or you cannot. Say again, say again, please. You cannot accept. Does it have an end or not? 
I can't accept that it has an end, but it cannot be destroyed by Allah as in being created. You can accept that it has an end. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. He cannot, he can't accept that it has an end. You, you said that you can, you can accept that, correct? Yes, okay, so, so what Ahmed okay, Muhammad so, said. so if it's going to have an end, it's going to be have end by, by who? Who is the one who will end the existence of the word of Allah? When Allah acts on the world, every particular action has a beginning and has an end. My friend, I'm not talking about the action, stop playing games. Stop playing I games. I am talking about his words. You see, Allah spoke in words, letters, letters, words, 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 not action. Stop, stop, stop talking, stop talking foolishness. I'm not talking about an action. I will tell you what action this. Now I am drinking tea, okay? And I told you I'm drinking tea, right? The D is over, but my what the word I say to you, it's not over because it is preserved. I'm God, so I am saying to you what I did. So now, Allah, he said things. Those things he said, are they eternal or they will be destroyed? He speaks in time. One thing doesn't matter. Another. He speaks on time. That's another question. What's wrong with you? He speaks in time. This is the my answer. friend, guys. One look at this. Look another. at this. You see this guy. He is desperate to call me to debate me, and he want to expose me. And look what he did. He exposed his God. They are very confused religion. They kiss a black stone, and they think by kissing a black stone, it's an act of worship to the divine Allah. The black stone is part of the body of Allah. Otherwise, why you kiss it? You said it's a because it's an act of worship to Allah. You kiss a stone. You kiss a stone. Listen, listen. I, I'm, I'm reviewing what you said to me since you called from the beginning. People, they will love this debate. And supposed to you call me to expose me. And you are an Arab, right? I like it. And you are, I think, maybe you are from the Gulf. But listen, those Muslims, guys, they kiss a stone because it is an act of worship. To who? To Allah. To Allah. Okay, that's mean. That's mean. That you said to me that Allah created for you a stone, so yes. by kissing it, you are worshiping Him, correct? And you, we do not worship the, the stone, we worship Allah. No, 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 no. If, if, I, I did not say anything. You said it, it's a, you said it's an act of worship to Allah, so kissing the stone is an act of worship to Allah. Listen, you said that. Listen, listen, listen no, 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 no. You see, everybody, listen, everybody, there everybody is understand. only one creator. There is one creator above the heavens. I'm Abdul. Abdul, don't change, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Please, please. We are, not, we are not kids. We are not, we are not kids. We are not kids. Please respect I'm yourself. Respect. Is, how, how, how old are you? How old? How old? How, how old are you, my friend? How old are you? Are you over the age of sixteen? What? None of your business. You see, you are. I think you are maybe fifty years old, and yet you cannot even keep on any conversation. So how you how you kiss the black stone as an act of worship, and yet you have a god. And he is the one who sent you a stone, created a stone for you, so you can kiss it in order to worship him. That is a paganism. This is, not, this is number one. Were, listen, listen. If I were to, if if I were to, um, if I were to give charity, that is an act of worship. If I were to speak good words, that is an act of worship. Everything we do that is pleasing to Allah. My friend, is an act my of friend, worship. my friend. You see, you are you are changing the topic. What does charity have to do with kissing a stone? <laughs> Giving charity is useful for mankind. It's a nice, it's a mercy, it's a good thing to do. But kissing a black stone, what a favor, what a favor you do to God, what a favor you do to your God, Allah, by kissing his stone. Tell me. What what favor do you do to Allah? But, 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 yeah, we don't do any favors. So, so why you are kissing the stone? Why he you, why you are saying to me it's an act of worship? What is the act of worship by kissing a stone? To obey Allah. Obey him in what? Where Allah he said to you, kiss the stone, my friend. His prophet told his prophet's example. He said, uh -huh. so Take from my from me the, the act of worship. Thank you very much. So you are saying that yes. your prophet is the first one first one to do the act of worship for the black stone, correct? Not for to what? Allah. He okay, so, for Allah. so Allah told Muhammad kiss the black stone. Yes. Where? Everything when I am and in Hawa, he does not speak of his own accord. My friend, your prophet, he speaks of his own accord, and we can prove it from the Quran in the chapter of At-Tahreem. In the chapter of At-Tahreem, your prophet, your prophet, no, you are changing the topic. You are the one who said he al Hawa. You are the one who mentioned it to me. In the chapter of At-Tahreem, Muhammad he forbid himself from having sex with Maria the Copt. So Allah he sent him a verse saying, Why you are fabricating things I did not say to you? Why you are making orders I never said to you? Why you are forbidding things I never said to you to forbid? So don't tell me he, he don't he, well, now we go back no, to zero now we go back to zero no, 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 no. What, this is, this is, what is, is the point what is the point of this kissing a black what is the point of kissing a black stone is it true that the black stone they forgive your sin no are you sure Allah forgives the sins are you sure my friend Allah forgives the sins all right so Allah no problem 
if we go in the hadith, we will find the following. Muhammad he said that the one who wiped the black stone and the rukun al Yamani, Allah erased his sin. Is that correct? Allah. Allah. Mm. No, no, no. Okay, Allah. Okay. Okay, Allah. Allah erased their sin. Why? It's Allah. Okay, this is not, this I, is not I, I'm story. not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Okay, why if I touch those stones, Allah will forgive my sin? And does the hadith says that Allah will forgive your sin? Yes or no? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives. In Allah, my friend, however, my friend, the hadith, however, in, the hadith in front of me, it says, I was with Ibn Abbas and Muawiyah and would not pass any corner without touching it. So I, Ibn Abbas said to him, the prophet would not touch any besides the black stone and the Yemeni corner. So Muawiyah, so, so, so Muawiyah said, uh, uh, there is not a part in the house is not touchable. Now I will show you a hadith where it says that- You know the difference between me and you- My friend, don't talk about the difference. The difference between me and you, I will tell you the difference between me and you. You kiss a stone, I don't. This is the difference. Now, now, don't change the topic. Then change the topic. Why you're a prophet? Why you're a prophet? Did you're a prophet? Did you're a prophet say that black stone they will erase your sin? The black stones do not erase the sins. Allah subhanahu wa taala forgives. My friend, my 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 friend, the hadith. Let me show you the hadith in front of us, and you will read it. Yet you're a prophet. Here we go. Read with me carefully, please. Abu Abdul Rahman said. Why do I only see you touching the these two corners? He said, I heard the messenger of Allah saying, touching them, erase the sin. Touching them, erase the sin, which means by touching those stones, your sin is erased. And I heard him saying, whoever strung a blade uh, uh, seven times, it's like freeing a slave. So you're a prophet to claim. That by touching stones in the Kaaba, two corners, the black stone and the Yemeni corner, your sin is erased. Why? Explain to us. It is it is erased by Allah because we are doing an act of worship, which is we are visiting the house of Allah built by Abraham. My and we, uh, guys, did you hear, did you hear this? Did you hear this? Because because you touch the stone, Allah forgive your sin. I mean, this is madness. So I go now. I rape one hundred women. I kill one thousand being, and I do go and touch the stone. And I am my name is a Christian prince, even I don't believe in Allah. I touch the stone, my sin is forgiven. This is how you put it. It's not how I believe. No, this is what it says. He did not say if you believe and if you do, etc. If you touch the stone, it erases your sin. It says that in front of you. I don't I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, do, I do know that it that's, has, that's good. It has, there is there is um there is in the Quran hmm. uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, uh, obey Allah and obey his messenger. So we obey Allah and we obey his messenger. And, and, and uh, the reason we, we, we and there are many acts of worship uh, and of course everything in Islam has a purpose uh, as, as um, so what the purpose of the stone in the, in, in the Sharia has what a is purpose. the what is the purpose there my is friend? The wisdom behind it okay what is the wisdom to, behind it? not know all the wisdoms my friend what is the wisdom I'm trying to learn from you this related to my the friend, topic of Allah our topic is one. our topic is you Muslims it's, are it's not worshiping one God purpose. you are a pagan person you are not worshiping one God because if God is one and you believe in God which is in up in up in heaven then why you need to kiss a stone and touch a stone and you tell me it's an act of worship why touching a stone will erase your sin you you know what kind of religion based on touching stones erasing that your is, sin is our sins what Allah, it is our sins yeah christian my friend how Allah, my friend sins. my friend the hadith says it clear, clearly whoever touched them it's erased it's it erased the sin the, the stones erase the sin they didn't say the word allah do you see the word allah there not only allah forgives this my sins. friend do you see the word allah there there Truth, only Allah forgives the sins. You can't shake my friend. So, why you need to kiss the stone? What is the stone for? It's a stone, is it? Is, is, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Uh, do you believe Muhammad when he said that he was saying the truth? If you touch the stones, they erase your sin. I believe the Prophet, sallallahu he was he, he, he when he spoke, he sp uh, in matters pertaining to the religion that he was infallible. No problem. This is not a question. Are you saying you believe in that? That if you touch three little stones, Allah forgive your sin according to you. You believe in that? Yani if the hadith says it, I will accept it. No, no. Either but you say either, either you say I accept it or you say I don't. Give me a straight answer. I can't answer. say that I don't know. But this is not the topic of the debate. My friend, why you don't know? It's in the front of your eyes. I show it in the screen. 
Why you don't say yes or say no? Do you believe? Do you believe what Muhammad saying? It's in YouTube. I'm showing it to you. Let me read it for you. Do you want me to read it for you in Arabic, my friend? Let me read it for you in Arabic. No problem. Here we go. Read it with me. إني سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إن مسح مسح إن مسحهما يحطان الخطيئة مسحهما. He didn't say by Allah. He didn't say by 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 the angel. He didn't say anything. If you if you wipe your يحطان الخطيئة. Yes, that's it. Translated as the 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 touching the 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 يعني مسح means to to wipe. When you wipe the stone. Your sins are forgiven. Thank you very much. Yes, automatically, so automatically. Did you say that, guys? Did you hear it? When you wipe your stone, automatically your son is forgiven. So the stone has the power uh, of forgiving sin. You're not being, you are not being fair. Okay, okay, my friend. Why I'm not being fair? I'm giving you time to talk. We are talking at the because, same time. I'm not because, insulting you. Because, because whether Allah tells us to touch a stone or to touch a tree, it doesn't matter. No, it matter because it have to do with forgiving sin, and you are the one who said to me, "Only God forgives sin." So how only God forgives sin? But yet I, okay, my friend, can Allah forgive my sin without touching the stones? Can Allah forgive my son? Can Can Allah, my friend, can Allah forgive my sin without touching the stones? Yes or no? Allah can forgive sins if we, yani as how however He wills. Okay, so why why it's required to touch the stones? It is not required to touch the stone. But to be no, forgiven. it's required now because you just said to me, my sin will be forgiven if I touch them. So now it is for me if I want to. You see, if Allah would forgive my sin without the stones, this means the stones are not needed. You, you see, let me show you, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on. Just a second. Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad. Yeah, Sheikh, listen. As long as you are saying to me and you agree. That the prophet he said, touch the stones, erase your sin. You wash, you wipe them, it, it, it erase your sin. Wonderful. Okay. So now, if I am a Muslim, I learned that the prophet saying to me, if you do that, your sin is erased. Now, if there is other options to do it, what is the need of this option? If I can do, ask Allah for forgiveness of my sin without touching the stone. So what is a stone for? It is ir totally irrelevant. Are you saying that we are doing an act of polytheism? My friend, I'm not saying that. It's you who's saying that. You just said that. You, you just said Allah, He forgives sin as He will. But this is His will. Are you are you saying this is? Are you saying it is not the? Are you saying that Muhammad? Are you are you saying it's Muhammad is lying when he said if you wipe the stones, Allah forgive your sin? No. Okay. So Allah. So Muhammad did not tell the lie. He is telling the truth. So you Muslims believe that the stones is the way to forgive sin. You touch the stones, Allah forgive your sin. You don't touch the stones, Allah don't forgive your sin. But how is this related to what I wrote to you? I wrote to you, I want to speak to you about Tawheed and Trinity. This is about Trinity. This is about Trinity. Here we go. We have now, we have a stone, we have Quran, we have, we have, we have, we have Allah. You know, you have many gods. Which, which, which one is your God? You see, for us, as a, for, for us who believe in a Trinity, we believe in one God. We, we don't, we don't believe in 10 gods. You Muslim believe in many gods. Okay, let me ask you, let me ask you. When you, when you say to me that the, the Quran is a divine, the word of Allah is divine, the Quran is divine, and Allah is divine. So now we have two divine. Which divine is the one you worship? The Quran is not a person. It is like God's knowledge. My friend, how it can be a divine, how it can be a divine, but yet it's not a person. Because it is an attribute of Allah. Do you believe that Allah's my friend? My friend, in Christianity, it makes sense to say the word of God is divine because the Christian believe that God and His word is one. You it's Muslims don't believe in that. Do you believe that God and His word is one? Yes or no? I believe Allah is one. He is one. This is another question. This is another question. So now we, we you, you you confirm that you Muslims don't believe in God and His word to be one. So now we have two. The, the, the word is divine and Allah is divine. So now we have two divine. So how you claim that you worship one God in the same time you kiss a black stone and you say to us that this is a stone Allah he sent to us. So kiss it and lick it and then Allah will forgive our sin. How that can be? Yeah, Christian Prince, yeah, and you, you are not being honest in the least and you're, you are full. My friend, I am not being honest. Expose me. Aren't you the one who said to me in the beginning when you call me, you said you want to expose me? Are you in this ability now? Everybody is watching and listening. How Allah, he have word and his word is part of his knowledge. And his knowledge, you are saying to me, is not going to be eternal. 
it is not eternal are you saying I to me say that his knowledge is not eternal. you, you said say the word you said his word is not eternal if you say his you word is not eternal his word is of his knowledge his no. word is his knowledge how you know the knowledge I of god my friend how you know how we eternal. know if god is not oh, listen listen not you see eternal. you see, you, see you muslims you have a foolishness you don't understand what you are saying when you say that Allah's word will not be eternal that the word of allah is his knowledge so allah without his word it's, which, uh, for us does not exist but because how we know question. about Allah, how you know about Allah how you know about Allah you know him by his word is that correct I know by Allah through his signs sign what sign what sign what sign Allah never have a sign Allah never have a sign what kind of sign Allah, the sign is, is that the black stone is that the black stone no, it's the Sun the moon the earth you my, what does have to do with Allah those are exist those are you know uh, uh, exist before Islam long time ago what does that mean I mean this is this is silly Prove to me that Allah is the one who created the sun. Okay, let me ask you. As long as you mention the sun, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your prophet, he said to Abu Dhir, do you know where the sun goes? He said, I don't know. Allah and his prophet knows best. So the prophet, he said, the sun goes every day under the throne of Allah. How yes, your prophet, the throne of Allah. thank you. So how, how your prophet speaking the truth, but yet he says such a silly thing that the, that the sun disappear every day and move from point A to point B, explaining the sunset. Which is absolutely false. No, he said that the sun prostrates under the throne of Allah. It goes, my friend. Don't lie. I can. I will show the hadith in front of your eyes. Don't lie. Don't lie, my friend. It's, it's a shame. People will laugh at you. You see, I show everything we talk about in the screen. Maybe you don't have it. It doesn't matter. So I'm, I'm just warning you. I'm just warning you. Don't lie because people they will read it. Everything I say. Is, there is only one hadith for every there's one narration for every hadith my friend my friend sahih al-bukhari once i was yes. with the prophet of allah in the mosque at the time of the sunset the prophet said oh abu dhar do you know where the sun set so your prophet is speaking specifically about certain thing which is is the do you know where yes. the sun where the sun set I mean, look at the question. The question alone is a disaster. Do you know? Do you know where the sunset? Do you can you explain to me why he's saying that? Do you know where the sunset? It sets. It sets, and then it prostrates under the throne of Allah. Uh, mm. It prostrates un, uh, under the, the throne of Allah. This is how I remember the hadith. Mm -hmm. So you agree with your prophet that the sun goes every day and travel, and then it, yes, it, uh, yes. But this is against science. That's mean you're. you're well, Science, why is it against science? Because the sun does not go anywhere. You know, when we have the sunset, it's the earth going around itself. The sun is not moving. I accept that, but it doesn't mean that the sun doesn't isn't apparently moving. My friend, your prophet is explaining where the sun goes. He said to him, Do you know where the sun set? Where the sun set? He's explaining the sun is it's is time for the sunset. He's go he's going out of the mosque with Abu Dhar. So he said, and how is this related? How no, is this because related because you said to me, because you said to me that Allah have a knowledge and Muhammad, he speak of his knowledge and Allah is I more knowledgeable. Allah is known through his signs. My friend, you, 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 yes, you, you, you said that one of the signs of Allah is his sun and the moon, right? You are the one who mentioned that yes, to me. Because they are so, so how Allah, you do not know how the sun goes, where the sun goes. <laughs> You are created and the sun is created. You see, you are, so you are, you are, you are running away now. You see, guys, he's he talking about me. I created. Don't change the topic. How Allah, he is, yeah, the, I mean, how the sun, I mean, how the sun, how the sun, how the sun is one of the signs of Allah, yet he do not know where the sun goes. Because it is a sign of Allah because it is created. It has a beginning. My friend, this is another question. If he is the one this who made the sun, question. this is what I meant. If Allah, if Allah is the one who made the sun, he should know how the sun, what the sun do, where the sun, what, how, how, how the act of the sun, where the sun move. You don't say such a foolish thing. Even the Quran says that the sun sit in the murky water. How Allah can be, how the sun can be one of the signs of Allah, but yet he says the sun sit in murky water. What kind of God he say that? This is, this is, a, this is uh, the sun sets in the sense that uh, it, it, it passes by the horizon of the Atlantic Ocean. This is what it means. Okay, so, so you are saying anyone understand that the sun sit in a murky water is lying. The Quran does not say that, correct? No, the Quran says No problem. So based on the Quran, does the sun sit in the murky water? Yes or no? The sun, uh, just a second. Hmm. The sun sets in the murky water, hmm. 
the second the sun in the Milky Way, the sun that it passes through the horizon goes into the Atlantic Ocean. This is how it sets. Hmm. And 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 even Kathir when he did, when only he, in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so it's set in the Atlantic Ocean. You are saying the sun is set in Atlantic the Ocean. Farthest point. Huh? When you look at it from uh, the west, my friend. So I'm asking you a very simple question: Do the sun really go inside the water? Yes or no? No, the sun doesn't go inside the water. So it's, it's, uh, okay, it, it I want you. I want you to say to me. I want you. To, I want you to confirm to me that anyone believe that the sun set inside the water is a stupid. Say it. What does it mean to say fee? Inside. It means that it doesn't mean inside. Fee does can not mean ala. It can mean over. When you say Allah, uh, -sama, when you say Allah is in heaven, you don't mean that Allah is surrounded by the heavens. You mean that Allah is above the heavens. My friend, I will show you that you do not know Islam. Allah is inside the heaven, is surrounded by air, above him air, underneath of him air. And remind me after two minutes to go to that topic and prove it to you, to prove to you that you do not know about Islam. You claim to be a sheikh, but you are no one. Listen, listen, you listen. Okay. Now, so now you are saying that the Quran does not say the sun is in the water, correct? Uh, the Quran says that the, the, the sun sets in murky water in the sense that it passes by the horizon, as I said. So it passes by the horizon, guys. Did you see? Did you hear it? So this is the correct thing. Anyone who says something else, okay, just confirm to me. If anyone, if anyone say the sun set inside the water, that means he's a stupid. Do you agree? Uh, the, the sun sets in, in this not is surrounded by the water. It cannot be surrounded by the. the water. My question is very simple. If somebody believes that the sun goes in the in inside the water, in the water, which means it's swimming inside the water, he is a stupid. Mm. Can you say that? Can you confirm? Yeah, and it depends his knowledge. He can be now today, he will be stupid, of course. Thank you very much, guys. Today he will be stupid very much. The one who said that is your prophet, my friend. And let me show you the hadith. You just said the one who well, says that must be stupid. To, to, my friend, to, my friend, my friend, Arabic. don't tell me Arabic hadith, Arabic hadith. hadith. I'm showing, I'm showing. I'm showing both. I'm showing both. Here we go. This is your prophet saying that the sun set in uh, He said to him, Your prophet, I was sitting, Abu Dhar, he reported, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S A W S B M Mercedes Benz, who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked, Do you know where the sun set? Who is talking, Muhammad? I replied, Allah, Allah and his Allah. apostle know best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. And you are the one who said to me, whoever believe in this is a stupid. I didn't say, it doesn't say that it's surrounded by the water. My friend, it's set in a spring of warm water. It's, it's a spring now, it's not an ocean. It is not even an ocean. You see, you are in a big, big trouble. You cannot deny it. It is in a spring of warm yeah, water. It's not, my friend, it my friend, it's a spring. A black, uh, do you know black, Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Uh, Abdul, listen, listen, listen. Spring, spring of water. It's a spring. It's not even an ocean no more. There's no Atlantic. There's no Mediterranean Sea. Hey, There's the no Gulf. I believe in this. See, but you believe a second ago that whoever believe in this is a stupid. No, I said that if it, if one claims that the, something surrounds the sun of the it earth, says surround. He said it said it said in guys. Listen, earth, Abdul, don't, don't waste my earth. time. Don't waste my time. It says there in the front of you. It said in a spring but of warm water. Can, can we leave this and go to the to the crux of the matter? Because okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold, hold on, hold on. What what is the what is the other thing you said to me? Ah, about Allah is is in the, uh, above the heaven. He is not in the heaven. Let me show you that you do not know anything about Islam. You claim to be a sheikh. You are no sheikh, and you have no idea you are talking to who. You want to uh, you want to expose a Christian prince. Let us see who's going to expose who. You're the prophet. He said that Allah in the top of him there is air, underneath of him is air. And you said to me, it's like saying that God is inside the heaven, but the fact He's above the heaven. It's recorded, my friend. It's recorded. It's recorded. It is recorded. Read with me. Read with me. The messenger of Allah. He said. Where where was our Lord before he created his creation? He said he was above the cloud Below which was air and above which was air and the water Okay, let me read for you in Arabic <laughs> No, 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 okay, let me read for you uh, قلت قلت أين كان ربنا قبل أن يخلق خلقه قال كان في عماء ما تحته هواء وما فوقه هواء ثم خلق العرش على الماء. The mic is yours. Okay. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I don't know the, 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 the correctness of this hadith, but I have heard it before. I, if, if this hadith is, uh, is true, I will, if this hadith is authentic, I will accept it. But it doesn't say that Allah is surrounded by air. My friend, it says, what do you mean it's surrounded? It says above him air, it says above above him air, my friend, it says above him. I will teach you, I will teach you. Yeah, it's above him air, and underneath of him is air. What do you mean it's, it's, it's not saying that? Yes. This is explained by the hadith. Allahumma anta wa anta al-zahiru falaysa fawqa ka shay. You are the above everything and nothing is above you. This is the My friend, the hadith you are story. quoting for me, you are an ignorant. The hadith you are quoting for me, it's about the power of Allah, that nothing is above his power. And you can go and read any interpretation for this hadith and you will see you are fabricating. You are mudallis. You are mudallis. You do not know Islam. You do not know Islam. You are talking, you are talking to the one who, talk, who taught your prophet Islam. Now listen, listen carefully. Let us go back to zero. So now Allah is inside the heaven. And you know, do you, do you know the hadith where your God, he says that Allah, he come down every night at the third part of the night? Do you know it? Yes. yes. Okay. How Allah, he go inside the heaven, but he is, he is not in the heaven. It's always above his throne. Abdul, what above his yes. throne? is? If he is coming every day, every yes. night at the third part of the night, do you want to listen or do you want to just interrupt me? My friend, I am I'm talking to you. You don't don't be upset. We are talking together. You see, this is the nice thing about this that we are not <laughs> read with me, read with me, read with me. Sahih Muslim, our Lord, the blessed and the exalted, descended every night. Descended. Do you see the word descended? Yes, I accept okay. Allah how Allah descended, but yet he is not inside his descendant. How he is descended yes. to the ground or to the heaven, but he is not inside the heaven. Explain to us. Are you claiming that everything that descends has to leave its place? Well, the Quran confirmed that. Isn't it your God? He said in the Quran, after he finished the creation, he went up to the sky. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ala al -arsh. Yes, he, yes. He so he, so he was not in the throne. So Allah, your God, he had to step down from the stone, from the throne in order to finish his creation, correct? Well, he doesn't go underneath the throne, but my friend, the, the my friend, the okay, this guy, he, he did not go underneath, uh, prove it, he did not go underneath the throne, prove it, go because ahead. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wahu al You see, you are quoting for me something have nothing to do with topic, the Qahir is the one have a power, don't be stupid, Wahu this is about the power. Abdul, Abdul, the Abdul let me get you busted, let me get you busted. Does the hadith in the front of us say that he go down all, uh, every night, and he go down to the lowest heaven, descend to the lowest heaven. How many heaven there is? Seven. Seven heaven. So the lowest heaven is what? That means Allah is this under, is under already, under six heavens. No, no, this is wrong. What wrong? If he is descending, yeah. Allah is descending yeah. from the heaven, from the yeah. from the seven heaven. Listen, Abdul, listen, listen, Abdul, listen, Sheikh, listen. Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad, listen. Allah, he is listen, where? Allah is listen. above the seven heaven, correct? Let us just take step by step. Allah is above the seven heaven. Do you agree? I, I have the right to ask you. You've, you're asking me too much. My friend, my friend, you, I, I'm done problem. with you. You see, you said to me you are a sheikh. You said to me you want to expose me. You said to me you are a hero. It turned to be you are a potato and you are no one. And you do not know your religion. And you do not know your Quran. And you do not know anything about Islam. And you don't worship one God. And you and you consider Christian the Black Stone as an act of worship. And you consider the Quran as a divine, but yet it was going to, it's not eternal. And you consider the Quran to be the word of God. It's attribute of God. And yet it's not eternal. You are stupid. You are a fool. Don't ever dare to say I can challenge your Christian prince. You cannot challenge me. One person. Now answer. How Allah explain to me? Don't change the topic. How Allah is in the seven heaven, yet He is going to descend into the lowest heaven without being inside it. Explain to us. Do you claim that for a thing to descend, it must leave its place? So you God, are you saying to me, your God, Allah is lying to us? He said descend, but He don't leave His place. He descends really, he comes closer, but he is always above the throne. Guys, he comes closer. Who cares if it, okay? You are saying to me he's driving his car. Okay, guys, let us drive this. This is Allah. This is Allah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Allah throne. Okay. And Allah throne, according to Mr. Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad, is like an elevator. So he is not leaving his throne, and that supposedly make him not leaving his place. That is stupid, my friend. So if Allah the go down, it says descend, it says descend. No, 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 no. My friend, it says descend. Do you know what descend mean? Descend means he draws closer to his creation. No, my friend, the Arabic word is yenizilu rabbuna. Yenizilu. He go down. Don't close. Okay, how he get a closer? Explain to us. How how Allah get a closer to us? 
But are you claiming that for a thing to descend, it must leave its place? I don't believe this. My friend, my friend, how I can go down without going down? It says, it says, Yen Zero, Yen Zero. Do you want me to show you the dictionary, the Arabic dictionary, what Yen Zero mean? You will not be able to answer. You see, you are not being a man. You are not being a man. What the word Yen in the Arabic dictionary? Send. The word Yenzel means sent? Yes, but he sent without leaving his place. Abdul, the word Yenzel means sent. Descend. Descend. No, it's mean to go down. This is the English word. Go down to make it more clear. I can show you the dictionary right now. So when Allah, he says in the in the hadith, according to your prophet, he descend from the heaven number seven to, this, the, to the heaven number one. How does happen exactly? Explain to us. He draws closer. How? He draws closer while he is about his throne. How? But I can give you an example. Are you you are basically claiming that it is impossible for Allah to do that? Well, you see, it's impossible for Allah to be Allah because if Allah wanna be close to us, why he descend anyway? I don't see how it is rationally impossible. My friend, fact, my friend, if, the, what is life. the purpose? What is the purpose of your God to go down every night? Can you explain to us in the in the hadith? Why to, to draw closer to his servants who pray to thank him you very much to be closer so he can hear them. So Allah he have a problem with hearing. Allah is not all hearing. Every night he come down in the lowest heaven so he can hear you when you talk. So you are saying to me as a Muslim, and your prophet confirmed that that the reception, the antenna, the antenna of Allah does not receive the prayer of the Muslim. So he have to go down every night. Every night he had to get a closer, get a closer, get a closer, get a closer. So he can hear us. What kind of God he cannot hear me from his heaven? Uh, the Christian prince engage with me in a respectful manner. I don't respect. I, I don't respect you, my friend. I don't respect because you are lying. You are saying to me, I want you to swear by Allah right now that the hadith does not say that Allah go down. I want you to swear by Allah that the hadith doesn't say that Allah doesn't doesn't go down. Oh, swear by Allah that the hadith says that Allah comes down. I swear by Allah. And I swear by Allah that you, you say, guys, he just, he, just, he just confirmed. He said he swear by Allah that the hadith says, "Come down." He said that. Yes. So you agree with me? So you agree with me? Allah, come down. Yes. Thank you very much. So what the problem? Allah, come down. How Allah is yes. Almighty? How yes. Allah is Almighty? How yes. Allah is Almighty? But yet He is inside His heaven, and you must then reject Him to be inside His creation. And then, in order to hear me, He have to come down. Why He need to hear me? By coming down, it's can't true. he can't he hear can't me from there? Him. Can't he it's hear true. me? Can't Allah hear me from there? Allah can hear you from from above. So why why this story, this drama is happening? Why Allah have to come down every third of the night to hear me? Why does Allah have to come here to kill Himself to in order to forgive? There's us nowhere sins? there's nowhere in Christianity it says that God He have to come to kill Himself. That's a lie. Don't change the topic. What? We will talk about it. No problem. His creation kill Him. Abdul, Abdul. No, He came. He came. The Jews they decide to kill him, and your God. Let me ask. Let me ask you. Let 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 me let me let let let, let, let change the topic. We can go there. Let's finish this one. So if Allah, if Allah, if Allah, listen, 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 listen. My, my Lord, my Lord Jesus, you Muslim, you keep lying about Christianity, saying that God came to kill Himself. That is a big fat lie. There's no verse in the Bible that says so. There's no place in the Bible that says that God He decided to kill Himself. That is a stupid of you to say. God, he knew what people they will do. He knew they would they, they are going to do harm for him. The Messiah, he told Peter, he told all the apostles, you will deny me tomorrow. You will betray me tomorrow. You will do this to me tomorrow. He knew the future. So he know your future. He know what will happen. He did not ask them to kill him. He did not call them. He say, hey, come and kill me. He did not make them th think about killing him. This is their decision. But he knew the future. This is what Christianity is based on. So you fabricate lies about Jesus. Now we go back to the topic. What kind of God? He cannot hear me unless he go down every night. Why no, Jesus? No, Jesus in the Bible. Jesus no, in the Bible says, hold. No, so, 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 so. Jesus in the Bible said, hey, pray for me, I answer you. Knock at my door, I will open for you. It doesn't matter where you are. He said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. That is impossible unless he is the true God. How your God cannot be between us right now? Oh, listen, listen, listen. Based on the hadith, based on the hadith, your God, Allah cannot hear us right, right now, correct? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears us always. So what the hadith here is about? Then why he come down? It says he come down, he come down every third part of the night. Don't lie, don't lie. The hadith says he come down every third part of the night so he can hear us. No, it's yes, not so can he so he can hear us. Yanzil Rabbuna ila Sama Dunya Hina Yapa Thunithun Lady Lahir. What does this mean? It means he comes down as an act of mercy. 
he comes down as an act of mercy he can he cannot do that he cannot do that if I'm, okay 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 he cannot do that act of mercy when he is in his throne but why why shouldn't he do that that's mean he is not almighty because he cannot do it in his throne so he have to come down he's you know your god your god you, you muslim you lie to us you say if allah wants something to happen he say b is going to be but look you have to take a taxi every day and come down from point A to point B. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, and, 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 and listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. How Allah, Allah will come down where? Where, where is the lowest heaven located? It is underneath the second, third, fourth, up to the seventh heaven. In order to believe in that, that's mean your God believe in the earth to be flat, because no, the earth is round. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Did he say the earth is round? Did he say that? But the hadith says Allah come down every night in the third part of the night. Yes. Okay. Well, in the third part of the night is 24 hours a day. It's because you, you are ignorant. You don't want to listen. My, I want to explain. My friend, my friend, explain to me. Uh, you are the one saying sure. that Allah come down. Yes. Allah come down every day, yes. every day in the third part of the night. Did you agree with that? when he descends he does not descend by leaving his place my friend this is not the question this is not the question my friend this is not the question my friend this is not the question this is not the question this is not the question abdul listen carefully let's listen abdul he leave his place and we prove it because it says he descend stop lying he descend he descend he descend so stop lying huh explain it you did already. You did. Now answer me. How how Allah will descend down in the third part of the night when the earth is not a flat? The earth is not a flat. He descends in a relative manner. What relative manner? What does that mean? It's, are, are you saying it's, it's fake? It's not real? It is real. Allah descends to this creation and not to that creation. My, my, my friend, is it is it, real? is it real? Is it real or it's fake? Is it real or fake? A real descent, but he doesn't leave his place. He only draws closer. My friend, what do you mean? How he can draw closer if he is not moving his place? Not rationally impossible for a thing to draw closer. So why he is using? The, so place. how he is using the word descend? He can say a different word. He can say, "I make you closer to me," but he he chose to say, "Listen, listen, listen." He 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 chose to say, "I descend." He did not just choose to say, "I will make you closer." He you said, don't, don't yani zilu rabbuna. Listen, Abdul, you are the one who don't know Arabic. Guys, in order for Allah, let, let, I'm showing in the screen how the Google, uh, how, how the earth is. This is the earth. So when you say yen zilu, yen zilu, if we say this is Mecca, let us go here. This is Mecca here. This is Saudi Arabia. Muhammad is speaking in Saudi Arabia. Wonderful. Okay. So now Allah is where? Above the sky. Muhammad is speaking about his God as if he is above. So Allah is here. Okay. The throne. The throne, no problem. I'm going to draw a throne. It's very important to have a throne. I mean, God cannot be a God if there's no throne. That would be a problem. So here we go. This is the throne of Allah, guys. Okay. Yeah, don't you believe in Adam, in listen, listen. No, we don't believe in a throne as a physical throne. God do not need a physical throne. Listen to me here carefully. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. listen, listen, listen. Here we go. This is the throne of Allah. And this is Muhammad here. So Allah is going to come down every third part of the night. Right? I don't believe in non-physical thrones. My friend, you believe, you, you must believe in a physical throne. You, you must believe in a physical throne is carried by eight animals. By eight angels. Though they are animals. They have faces of animals. Face of an eagle, face of a lion, face of... Don't, don't fool me. You know, I know, more, I know more than you can imagine about your cult. Now, listen, listen. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. So Allah now is above the earth, right? How he can be above, how he can be above when the earth is round? He is because he is outside of the the heavens. What as what outside? Still, the earth the earth yeah, is round. Yeah. My friend, my friend, he is above from which side? Allah will, Allah will go down from which side of the earth? From here. Allah subhanahu wa taala is above. We direct our hands towards Allah above. It doesn't. Yani it doesn't at all matter that the earth is spherical. What do you mean? Doesn't Allah matter. Let, let me ask. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me prove to you. Does the Quran says the earth is a flat? Yes or no? No. What if I show it to you? What you will do? This is a consensus. Do you do you promise? Do you wrong. promise to apologize? 
uh, I will not support, uh, يعني, uh, how, how can you show something which is a consensus among Muslims? The, 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 all the Muslims, as Ibn Taymiyyah mentions, and as Ibn Hazm mentions, there is a consensus. What consensus? Among what consensus? Uh, among I, will show, I will show you the interpretation. I will show you the Quran. I will show you whatever you wish. What do you want? Did Allah, did Allah make, you know, listen, listen. I heard, uh, <clears throat> uh, I heard the Muslim, they say that Allah in the Quran, he mentioned the earth is like a shape of an egg. Is that correct? I don't know. I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that وَكُلٌ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ As Ibn Abbas uh, explained it, he hmm. said, uh, uh, it's like, um, it's spherical. He, he used the word which means it's spherical. What spherical? Yasbahoon. Yasbahoon means they swim. Yasbahoon means they swim. And that's something Muhammad, he took from the, from the pagan, uh, uh, from the pagan Sabian. Yes, you're, you're a prophet. He believed that every plant is taking a boat and is swim. This is what if you felic and Yasbahoon. Thank you very much. So now, does the, does the earth, there is the earth flat in the Quran? Yes or not? Read with me. The earth, the earth is spread out, but it is spherical. Read with me, please. But how is this Stanishway, Christian Prince? How Stanishway, is this way, Stanishway, Stanishway. Yeah, we what are talking about Allah will descend. Uh, you see, a topic how will lead to a topic. I have to prove you now. You are the one who said to me that Allah is one God and Muhammad, he don't speak of his own and everything is coming from Allah and Allah is the only one God and we worship one God. So look what happened now. You have a God who said the earth is a flat. The chapter 71, verse number 19. Is the word besat mean if, if, if a flat carpet? Yes or no? It is explained by the other verse which says, وَهُوَ الَّذِي مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ Thank you very much. We go to مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ He made it flat again. Yes, it is flat in a sense, but it is spherical too. What do you mean flat in that sense, but spherical too? How that can be? Either it's flat. It's okay, let me, let me prove to you that you are again lying to me. Is it is it your prophet who order you to face the Qibla, the Kaaba? Y yes. Okay. How somebody live in America, he can face the Kaaba. The, uh, how is the Qibla? What is the Qibla? You, you define the Qibla. The direction the of the Kaaba. Yes, but is it is it permissible to? Uh, what is the what is the what is the Qibla? The Kaaba is the place of the Kaaba. Type. So what what is your question? How you can you how you can live in, in in America, and you can face the Kaaba. You direct your you direct in the you direct your face towards the direction of the car. How you can direct your face? It's in the other side of the earth. It's down. The, in order to do that, you have to put your head in the toilet seat. You, uh, uh, miskin, you are, you are you are ignorant. <laughs> you don't think straight, my friend. Let us see who don't think straight. How you can face the qibla if the qibla is in the other side of the earth? You Muslims, you direct your face and you claim that you are facing the Kaaba when you pray in America or Australia or Europe. That is a joke. That's a stupid. You, there's no way you can face the Kaaba. Nobody can face the Kaaba. The, the only way, the only way for for you to do that, Abdul. The only way, the only way to do that, if you believe that the earth is a flat. Who is above the heaven? Allah is not above you the heaven. Allah is, above the heaven. Allah is not way anywhere. Allah is a joke. He does not exist. And I can prove it. What kind of you God? My God, friend, my God, friend, God my friend. You see, you keep jumping like a monkey from a topic to a topic. Allah you is above the heaven. I explained to you. I showed you the hadith that Allah above him air and underneath of him air. My friend. Don't hang up and don't run away. Coward. You said you want to expose me. This video is in YouTube. People will laugh at you, claiming to be a sheikh from Saudi Arabia when you do not know even to answer one question about I your religion. Say I'm from Saudi Arabia. Where are you from? Where are you from? Tell me, where are you from? I don't want to tell you. Why not? It is none of your business. Ah, right? okay, okay. So, okay, so you are from the Middle East. Okay, now listen, listen, listen. We go back to zero. We go back to zero. This is what the Muslims are. All right? Now, you're a prophet. You're a prophet when he was in Mecca. He was in Mecca. He uh, claimed. Prince, can I ask you a question? Because my, you haven't asked me a question. This, my, this, no, this you, you are the one who asked me the question first. You forgot. It was your question who came to me. This is not fair. Do you believe in fairness? My friend, do I don't know. I don't believe in fairness. You are a Muslim. A Muslim don't believe in fairness. You're a prophet. He said. You're a prophet. He said, kill those who don't believe in Allah and the last month. This is not fair. You don't. You don't. You don't talk about killing me and raping my wives and taking my land and then you speak about fair. Shame on you. Who are you to speak about fair? You are the last one to speak about fair. You are a Muslim who believe in rape, who believe in killing, who believe in theft. You're a prophet. He said that even their kids is halal for you. Go and kill them. 
Your prophet is not a person who can teach fairness. No. Now answer, Blackstone Kisser, Mr. Mr. Blackstone Kisser, I really enjoy talking to you. Are you going to answer me or not about what we said? We are talking about the same topic for the last one hour at least. And then now you did not say, you did not give me the answer. Are you going to give me the answer or not? You have to give me 30 seconds to answer because you're not giving me any I'm time. giving you the last hour to talk. You said nothing. You said rubbish. Now, we go back to zero. Is the Quran, I want a confirmation from you. Is the Quran, mm -hmm. which is an attribute of God, which is of the knowledge of God, as you confirm to us, is it going to be eternal or it is not it eternal? possibly be eternal. The actions of God and his... I'm not talking about the actions. Stupid. Stop, stop mm -hmm. being stupid. Stop being stupid. I'm not talking about the action. I'm talking about the word. The word is not an action. Don't be stupid. Action. The word. What is this? What do you mean by the word? This is the letter and the meaning. Give me, give me a reference that the word of Allah is His action and it is not His knowledge. His, how you say to me? How you say to me? Word. It is His knowledge, and you say to me it is His action. How knowledge is an action? It, it is. It, it happens by His power and will. This is not the question. Speech. This is not the question. Is it an action or it is a knowledge? It is off. Is it? I already answered. I already answered. You, you, no, you know, you don't answer, my friend. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Allah subhanahu wa taala. Al kalima fi al lugha. Al kalima fi al lugha. Qawlun bidun fa'al. You are an ignorant in Arabic like your prophet who do not know how to quote a name correctly. What is kalam? What is kalam? Listen, kalam. Lafzun yuqal wa leisa fa'al. Al kalamu ma qila wa qal wa yaqul wa leisa fihi fa'al. So it is not an action. It's not an action. Listen, Abdul. I'm asking you. Let me let me rephrase the question for you because you Muslim drink camel urine. You are so slow. The word of Allah. The word of Allah. I'm not talking about the action of Allah. Is that more clear? The word of Allah, which is not the action. How is the word not an action? The Quran, all of it. The Quran, the Quran of all of it is not action. All of the Quran is, is not, the Quran is spoke. the Quran, my friend, is your God reporting a story. There's no action in it. It's a story to report. The Quran is a spoken words. It was spoken. It's a, in it's a spoken story. There's no action there. When your prophet, let me let me let me let me let me, let me teach you let me teach you some intelligence. When your God Allah, He spoke about Adam to Muhammad, He was speaking at that. Listen, listen. When your God, when your God, He said to Muhammad. That I say to the angels, I will create an inheritance, Khalifa. Hmm? Yes. Okay, which is which, which some 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 Muslims they say it is Khalifa, you know, Khalifa or Khalifa, they don't know. No. Now, listen, listen, listen. What was it happening at that time when Allah He said that to Muhammad in the Quran? Was it happening at that time or or Allah reporting a story? Answer me five, answer me five of my questions. My if friend, you, you have them. no question. You are no one. You are a potato. You've been served and you've been cooked. Don't call me again. Next time, let your dad call me. Get, get lost. This guy is a shake. You want to debate me? <laughs> Man. You want to debate Christian Prince? Are you sure? I mean, are you sure? Are you sure? I don't know. Those people are crazy. How dare you? I mean, me myself, I'm scared to debate myself. I'm telling you, I will lose. I did it many times. I put the mirror in front of me. I lose. No, 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 my friend. This guy. No, no, no. You see, you guys, you do not know. Those, those, this guy, he is very well trained, but he do not know he is talking to who. That's what happened to those people. They think, they think they can predict me. You see, I'm not like others you see around. You don't know how much I know until you push the bomb. Are we clear? You step on my toes, I will eat you alive. So they go and they watch my videos. They say, okay, he will say this and he will say this and he will say this because based on my watch. But what I say in my videos is not my knowledge yet. What I know is beyond your imagination. They think they think they heard it all. How many of you heard me for years and years and years? But each time you listen to me, you, you hear something new, right? But you have to give me a reason to speak about it.
And this is what happened with them. When they call me, they got busted. Christian Prince, I am calling you to expose you. Do you really think you can? Pagans, black stone, the black stone is an act of worship. Kissing the black stone is an act of worship. And yet you claim that you worship a God, a divine, he is one God. You have a God who is against adulter, adulter, adulterers, like to have idols, but yet he is asking you as a request, as an act of worship in your religion to kiss the stones and those stones erase your sin. I think we have another Muslim. Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm fine, my friend. Good, good. Uh, I just wanted to ask you. Um, you are a Muslim first, right? Yeah, I'm a Muslim. Yes. Uh, what, what, what Muslim mean before you go to and talk? Can you tell me what Muslim mean? I want to learn something from you. The one who submits, right? No, I don't know. I'm asking you what Muslim mean. The one who submits. Submit to what? To Allah. Where in the Quran it says that the Muslim is the one who submit? I don't know. Why, why are you asking this question? You are the Muslim. I, I imagine I ask a Christian what Christian mean. He do not know. So you are a Muslim. I'm asking yeah, you. I'm okay, but I want to know what Muslim mean. You know. So what? But I want to ask you a question first. My friend, my friend, you you will ask me no problem. But 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 you are saying you are a Muslim, but you do not know what Muslim mean, right? I don't speak Arabic. I don't ah, know. because you don't speak Arabic. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, go ahead. What is the question? Go ahead. Okay. Doesn't the Bible prophesize uh, Nabi Muhammad in Isaiah 42? All right. This is your question. It says uh, he'll be a comfortable, a comforter hmm. to the Gentiles. Hmm. And um, <clears throat> hmm. from uh, the, the people where Kedar inhabits and Mount mm. Sela, mm. is it true or not? Is your Muhammad from Sina? S Ma no, no, Mount Sela is in uh, Medina. No, my friend, it's not exist there. The, the, there's a little mountain there. I talk there, how far away. And Muhammad is not from Medina anyway. Muhammad is from Mecca. No, no, he lives in. He my lives friend, in if Medina. I live, if and, I live in America, and, does not mean does not, does not mean I'm from America. I am from where I am. If I am from the so, Middle East, I am Middle Eastern. You see, I live, in, I live now in America, but I am a Middle Eastern. So don't fool yourself. If you're a prophet, you went to Germany. Doesn't make him German. Now answer me. The verses well, you are mentioning. You, 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 are, you are the one who says that he will be a prophet to the Gentile. Correct? Yeah. Okay, but he's a Gentile himself. He's a Gentile. Yeah. All right. The Quran says to us, if you go with me, the Quran. Do you have your Quran with you? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Chapter sixty-one, verse number six. It says that the name of Muhammad will appear only once in the New Testament, and that will be mentioned by Isa, that there's a prophet will come after me, his name is Ahmed. Have you ever heard of Not this verse before? Not only once, but many well, show times. Me, show me where it says in the Quran, other name will appear, and where it says that. Where it says that Muhammad's name will appear in the book of Isaiah. Can you show the, me? It, it, the Bible doesn't say it explicitly, but it says it. My friend, my friend, uh, forget about the Bible now. You you quote for me the verse from the Bible, right? Okay, we got it. Now show me where Muhammad. Why are you Muslim saying to me? Are you saying to me that you're a prophet? He you do not know that his name is in Isaiah, but you discover that. You know the reason why I say Muhammad is the final prophet because my, no, that's Jesus, not, the, not the question. Don't change. Don't Jesus change. The topic. Himself, don't change. Listen, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Jesus, are you saying to me? Are you saying to me? You're a prophet. Are you saying? Are you saying to me, your prophet is a fool person? He never heard, he never know, he never been told that his name is in the book of Isaiah. But you, Abdul, who came 1400 years ago after, you know more than your prophet. Why your prophet did not say my name? Okay, to the Jews, hey, open the book, my name in the in the in the book of Isaiah, chapter, etc. Why your prophet did it says not Muhammad, say that? yeah, it says Muhammad in the my in the friend. Bible, uh, why your Quran. prophet did not say to the Jews in his time, open the book of Isaiah and read my name? Because uh, people back then they didn't know how to read. That's why. Ah, so are you saying to me your prophet is ignorant, so he do not know that his name is there? His name is there. But you do not know. You are saying. He knew his name is there. Where he says that? 
Where, where, where Muhammad, he said, okay, open the, uh, the book of Isaiah and my name is there. Show me. Uh, he never said that, but... See? So you are saying to me... Okay, no, no, no. What we learn from, the, from, from you, that Muhammad was a fool. He don't understand that his name is there, but you Muslims are smarter than him and you found it, right? You are well, saying to me, you are, you you are saying to me, you are saying to me that his God never told him because his God cannot read too, so he do not know. You are saying to me that the angel Jibreel never give him attention to say to him, hey, Muhammad, tell the Jews that your name is there. Who do they who do they praise in the in the lands where Kedar inhabits? Who do they praise? They praise my Muhammad. friend, they your praise prophet Jesus. Muhammad have nothing to do with Kedar. He is not from Kedar. He have nothing to do. He not even close to Kedar. What are you talking about? Secondly. The prophets of the Jews they used to go and meditate in the in the in, in the desert and there's many stories even the Quran confirm that the people of Israel all of them they lost in the in the in the desert because Allah he forced them to go and attack and kill the Palestinian but because they refused Allah he made them not to go what does this have to do with your prophet now as I'm asking you now Jesus said yeah. Jesus said according to the Quran that there's a prophet will come after me his name is Ahmad do you agree with that yeah, he did say that. Okay, the name that. of is, is is the name of your prophet Ahmed or Muhammad? Uh, Ahmed. His name is Ahmed. Ahmed and Muhammad. And Mahmoud. Oh, so he have two names. And those are like Three variants names. of his name. Man. So obviously that is not a name. Muhammad he changed his name because you cannot have all those names. Either you can have a name. nickname. You can have. Okay, like so you can have David, right, Dave. Right. So those like, are all all, all those names. All those names mean what? Mean the praised one. So Muhammad he claimed to be God. Call himself the praised one, making people worship in him. The real name of Muhammad, the real name of Muhammad is Qasim, which is the sperm of the hyena. Where, where do you get that? You can go and search. Go right now, search the Prophet Muhammad. His real name is Qasim in Arabic, and you will find tons of articles written by Muslims. Muslims, not us. Which hadith? The Muslims, even in in in, uh, uh, in the book of Ibn Kathir, it says that when when the the uncle of Muhammad, Muhammad, he used to have an uncle. He passed away. His name is Qasim. He passed away. So the Arab they used to do what? When when the a new baby is born, is a male, they give the new male the name of the number of of, uh, of the name of the member who passed away to keep his name exist. So Qasim he 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 died. They call Muhammad Qasim. Muhammad was the first born after that guy, after the previous Qasim. For, for what you're talking about, my friend, you do not know. I know because all of you Muslims do not know what I'm talking about. Now let me ask you, why why Muhammad he said that Jesus said. My name, uh, 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 Jesus said to the Christians, there is a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmed. And why we cannot find the word Ahmed in the New Testament? You said it is in the Old Testament, right? It's in the, in the New Testament as well. No, no. Or but, Old you, Testament, no, no hold on, hold on. But you quote for me from the book of Isaiah, correct? You said to me. Isaiah, yeah. Okay. So why, why the Quran did not say that Isaiah said, that there's a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmed. Why it says Jesus said? Well, the Quran is kind of like ambiguous to test the people. You know what ambiguous? Muhammad is telling us that where, where you can find his name. So the Quran, the one is talking is Allah. Allah never mentioned the book of Isaiah. He mentioned that the one who will mention that is Isa. So you Muslims are fabricating stories because even your God is against that theory. Same time, when Isa he said there's a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmed. Correct. This is what the yep. verse in the Quran is saying. We cannot find yep. that name in the whole Bible. There's nobody. It doesn't matter the name. It, no, no, no. You see, the you have to say, Abdul, it doesn't matter. Because here it says that a prophet will come after me. His his name would, shall be Ahmad. So his name is given as the name for a reason. So it should be there. Secondly, Muhammad is a prophet. Is that correct? Yeah. Give me a prophecy of Muhammad from the Quran. A prophecy from... Of Muhammad or yes. from Muhammad. Yeah, because when I call you a prophet, it means you have a prophecy. What he prophesied in the Quran. Yeah, it's in his hadith. You can read his also, hadith. Also, you are saying in the Quran the there's no... Times. Okay, hold on, hold on. Are you saying in the Quran there's no prophecy? It's in the hadith. It's in the hadith, so it's not the Quran. Yeah, but... But isn't it a prophecy? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't it a prophecy is the word of Allah? How it can be in the hadith, not in the Quran? Well... How we pray is not even in the Quran. So what are you talking about? My, my, my friend, prophecy is something specific God said to his prophet. So it should be in the holy book, not in the hadith. 
where in the Quran Allah he prophesied to Muhammad where in the Quran I don't know uh, never Muhammad he, he made did. he made some I, I will help you I will, I will I will help you Muhammad he prophesied in the Quran as an example he said that uh, uh, the moon is split and the judgment day you know cliff ascender but as we know that this is a false prophecy because no judgment happened and no moon split chapter 54 verse number one Muhammad he said this verse 1400 years ago until now nothing happened explain moon to didn't me split. he split the moon well, oh, but this is impossible because if the moon is split the moon will be destroyed is, is the moon is the moon one piece now or two pieces it's one piece okay so no. how, how we split it and it became what Allah he glued it together again what the point NASA NASA has proof my friend don't fool yourself NASA never said the moon is split anyone who said to you he's a crazy stupid the Muslim this they, they, they post on the there's internet. a mark on the, my friend my friend they post they post a picture from NASA about a valley that is a valley that is not the earth we have the great the, the Great Canyon do you know how big it is but the earth does not split it's a valley don't be a fool Go and see where in that NASA it says the earth is split. Nobody believe in such a garbage because if the moon is split for a second, the earth will be destroyed, not only the moon, because one part of the moon will be grabbed by the earth and the other part will be grabbed by other planet uh, close to it. So it's impossible to happen because when you say split, it may became two pieces, not a crack. Crack is not split. So in Shaq al Qamar, so the moon split simply was nothing but the eclipse. Your prophet God has all the power he can your prophet your prophet and by the way this is a this is a poetry Muhammad he stole it from a man he was speaking about his beautiful woman who is so so white the Arab they like white women so when he saw her his name is Umru al Qais when he saw her he said the following that is it's a poetry so Muhammad he he caught the point of the man and he added to the Quran uh, where do you get that from? You can go right now and search for the, the for the poetry. I have it in my book. Go and buy my book, The Deception of Allah. There's, there's no uh, Arab literature back then, so I don't know what you're ah, talking about. <coughs> my friend, that's a big fat lie. According to Islam, according to Muslim books, the Arab they used to be so proud about Arabic to the point each one of them he have like you know there's a famous names as an example. They have something it's called al muallaqat. Muallaqat muallaqat mean the hang up. The one they hang the hang over the Kaaba. So they write poetry which nobody can write like it. And Muhammad he could not even get it close to write a poetry like that. That's why Muhammad he have Quran, not poetry. Quran is the same as Arabic music. In Arabic, it's called a sajr. Quran is actually um, <laughs> a linguistic miracle. So uh, you can even you can even uh, agree to that as a non-Arab Muslim. Uh, I mean Arabic non-Muslim. My friend, I can agree that the Quran is the most stupid book in Arabic. Is full of Arabic mistakes, starting from the name in the front of us. Do you see the word Bismillah Rahman Rahim? Yeah. Okay. Allah, he gave, most much Allah he gave you the Quran. Allah He gave you the Quran in order to recite and to sing, correct? Okay. The Muslims, yeah. the Muslims, to fix Allah mistake, they took the letter from the Arabic language, which is Bism. In Arabic, there is nothing. It's called Bism. Bism is not exist in Arabic. There is no word. By the name of Allah. The, hold on. In Arabic, we don't have a word. It's called bism. We have a word is bism. So well, the that's... Muslims, the Muslims, in order to fix the problem, they took this letter. I will make it in blue. They took it off from the Quran. Why? Because that will make them able to recite the word and make it more suitable for recitation. So why the Muslims are correcting a miracle of Allah, taking a letter off in order to recite it better? This is number one. Number two, do you speak Arabic, my friend? Just a little, but not that okay. much. Do you know? Do you know anyone who he speak Arabic? I know some people who speak Arabic. Yeah. Hmm. Can you uh, can you ask them right now to call me and show you mistakes in the Quran? Endless mistakes. Can you do me a favor? <coughs> they, they're all Muslims, so I think they, they would leave Islam if uh, there's. Mistakes in the Quran. Well, I would do it now, right now. Can you can you ask your friend who you speak Arabic to to join us in the conversation? Not at the moment, but no problem. Well, I will let that for you. You can find me the Muslims who speak Arabic. But now we go back to the topic. You see, you say that the Quran is a miracle. Nobody can make Quran like it, correct? 
Correct? Do you agree? Huh? You yeah, say yeah. the Quran is a miracle, right? Okay. So how the yeah. Quran says that Shaitan he made Quran? The Shaitan never made Quran. Well, the Quran says that the Quran said that Allah will delete all the Shaitanic verses. You never heard of a book? It's called Shaitanic Verses by Salman Rushdie. Um, that's just made up propaganda. So no, it's in the Quran, my friend. Rama arsalna min qablika min rasul wa nabi illa idha tamanna alqa shaytanu fi umniyate. The Quran confirmed not a single prophet just trying to defend Muhammad, but shaitan he throw in his tongue false divine and Allah will delete it. Speaking about what? Speaking about Muhammad receiving satanic verses. When did he receive satanic verses? Is there proof of that? Yes, it's, in the, Quran? It just propaganda? Friend, it's, it's in the Quran, chapter, 20, chapter 22, verse number 52, my friend. I know, I, I know. It's there's a chapter like that, but it doesn't have many. Uh, many what? It doesn't have any <coughs> significance. And my friend, it's just yeah. It's in the front of you. Don't tell me it does not have many significance. Allah, he, Allah, he said he will delete the shaitan words. Allah will delete them from where? From the mouth of the prophet. Whatever the prophet said, Allah will abolish the shaitan words. How he abolished something does not exist. So shaitan must be, he did that. So how Muhammad did not recognize that shaitan has given him Quran if the Quran, nobody can make Quran like it. Here we go. Muhammad received He tried, Quran. he tried to do it. He did not try, he succeeded, he succeeded. My friend, even the even the, the, the tafsir says that the prophet of Islam, he bowed down to the idols. He, 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 uh, he said uh, the daughters of Allah must be worshipped. Their intercession is a must. <coughs> is there a hadith saying that? Yeah. <coughs> the interpretation interpretation anyone can interpret whatever they want no there are scholars those are your scholars maybe they were against Islam who knows ah they I left mean... Islam maybe Kathir left Islam correct yeah my friend uh let me ask you Allah he made the Quran saying in the Quran that women she have a sperm coming from her ribs can you make something better than this Nobody can make something better than this because this is the most stupid thing ever. Do you really believe? What is, your, what is your education, my friend? What is your education? I'm educated. I, I went to college. That's so. wonderful. Me, me, my, me, myself, I have only elementary school. Now, do you think that women have uh, sperm coming from their ribs? No, the, that's not possible. So how the Quran say so? To... It could be a misinterpretation. No, my friend, it's not misinterpretation because even uh, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, he said that. I mean, all the scholars agree with that. And the Quran even saying that clearly. So what is the misinterpretation? I will go right now in front of your eyes. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right. You can see the screen, right? I can see, yeah. Okay. One minute. One minute. By the way, this is one of the reasons I am still single until now. I'm afraid to go to the bedroom and my wife should take off her clothes. And instead of seeing a beautiful lady, I see a woman, she have a breast testicles. That's scaring the hell of me. It's not Hello? easy. Yeah, I'm here, my friend. Do you see it? Do you see um, it? Yeah, that's tafsir. It's not... It's not uh... But this is Ibn Abbas, my friend. This is the cousin of your prophet. Your prophet, he named him as a scholar for the nation. Do you think your prophet he made a mistake when he named him as a scholar? He was a but he was naming a potato. That, that, that can be that can be. That, that, I don't believe it. Okay, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of something called scientific miracle of the Quran? Yeah. Okay. Can you give me one? Like the earth is uh, uh what is it? 
ostrich egg, uh, the shape of a ostrich uh, egg. Who who is who is the one who said to you that the Quran and, says the ha ha and mean it's that's mean the shape of an ostrich egg? Who who said that to you? Well, this is what I, I've been watching when I was a, a young teenager. My friend, so my, I, my I know this. Right, the, 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 what, the, the one who said that first time is a donkey. His name is Sam Zawadi. Okay, but it's mean the opposite. Here we go. This is the verse you are quoting for me, chapter 79, verse number 30. This is a donkey, and you Muslims follow a donkey blindly. He says a lie of all of you copy it and post it around. Chapter 79, verse number 30, translation number one. Okay, how about the water? Oh, hold on, hold on. Water. One, by, one by one, one by one, one by one. It says that Allah, He made the, the, sweet water. It says, hold on, we, we will show you, we will show you the sweet, we will show you yeah. sweet water, no problem. It says Allah, He made the earth flat. The same verse you quote for me, it says the opposite. Allah, he made the earth flat. And the earth, he expanded after that. This is a false translation, by the way. It says make it flat, but I will show you. Just I will go with you. See? All the Muslim translation. Nobody says it's in the shape of an egg. And after that, he spread the earth. He did not make it egg. He, made, he spread the earth. <coughs> this is your translation. Muhsin Khan. And then he spread the earth. If you go to the interpretation, here we go. Okay, chapter 79, verse number 30. <coughs> My throat is tired, guys. Sorry. It's very dry. Too much work. Okay, read with me. And after that, he spread the earth over the water. If we change just the interpretation right away, it says he made it flat. So why Muslims lying to you saying that it says it is in the shape of the egg? Read with me carefully. And after that, he spread out the earth. He made it flat. Do you see it? Yes, I see. Okay, so why why they are lying to you? It's the opposite. It's a lie. Now, you said about... Uh, the, 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 the salty water and... The... Yeah, this is again, this is a big fat lie. Yeah, you know, here, <clears throat> we go in the Quran, find the verse saying the following. وهو الذي مرج البحرين هذا عذب فرات وهذا ملح أجاج وجعل وجعل بينهم برزخا وحجرا محجورا وجعل بينهم بينهما برزخا برزخ in Arabic mean uh, uh, a piece of land between two seas it's not that the seas are not mixing how we prove that let us go to the interpretation is that fine with you yeah go ahead okay okay so if we go right now Chapter 25, verse number 53. <clears throat> uh, we can go here. All right, here we go. If you read with me, my friend, <clears throat> this is Ibn Kathir speaking about that uh, that uh, that verse you mentioned. Look what he said, and he said he set a barrier and complete partition between them. So there's complete partition; they will never mix, and this is not what happened between salty water and fresh water because salty water and fresh water they mix, meaning between the sweet water and the salt water. He continues saying a barrier mean a partition which is a dry land do you see it okay okay so why they are lying to you it says that the quran make a miracle that the fresh water and salty water doesn't mix when the quran is speaking about a piece of land between them actually it's a saying it's a mistake because what muhammad he think that the fresh water and the salty water never mix it's a miracle of allah here we go we have sweet water if we dig in the ground we have sweet water if we go to the sea we have salty water muhammad he could not understand how this happened so he think that Allah, he made a barrier between the sweet water, which is the ground, and the salty water, so they never mix. But the fact, this is a lie, because all the sweet water we have is coming from the ocean anyway. Correct? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, what, so what you said, it's a miracle. It turned to be a scam. It's a lie. So how do you explain Muhammad being in the Bible? My friend, he's not in the Bible. This is what you're saying. We, we laugh at this uh, Muhammad in the Bible. Where is Mo Nowhere in the Muhammad in the Bible. In order for Muhammad to be in the Bible, my friend, he have to be first a Jew, 
because the Jews don't believe in a prophet he is not a Jew it's very stupid of anyone it's very stupid of anyone to say that the Jews they ever accepted a prophet who is not a Jew except their grandfather which is Abraham who is the father of the Jews so anyone anyone my friend anyone he will come to you with the name of a person says he is he is a prophet he is not those people are descended from Abraham so they believe only, okay, uh, only listen listen, Salih, listen. Salih. What's Salih? Where is Salih? Where is Salih? In the, in the Bible, there's Salih. This is a stupid name in the Quran. What's Salih? Who is this guy? Do, do you know? Do you know where the Salih he live? Where, who is Salih? Yemen, Yemen. Who is Salih? He's the the prophet. Where, where he where he was? What city he live in? What country? In what? Ad Thamud. Uh, where where is this Ad Thamud? Where is this called? Where, where we can find him? Where, where are they located? Nobody knows. This is this is legions in of Yemen. The, in Yemen, my friend. No, no. This is this is legions of the Arab and Muhammad. He is just making fun of you. Uh, about about a goat, uh, sorry, about a camel, uh, the pagan they said to him, "Ask your God to make this rock uh, 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 give birth to a camel, and the camel she will have a give birth to a ten month old she camel." This is a joke, my friend. <clears throat> anyway, my uh, anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. I have uh, my voice is really tired today. Okay, uh, let me ask you another question. One, one more, one last question. Uh, no, no, no. You see, I, my voice is really tired. It's getting, getting really dry. You can call me tomorrow. If we go online tomorrow, my friend, if we go online tomorrow, you can call me tomorrow. You see, I took you all this time. You know, you can call me again. I am always online. My voice is getting tired. I was shouting loud. I talked to many people today. Um, so we have enough. You're scared. Today. You're running away, right? Oh, oh. One last question you can answer. I know you can answer. Please don't make it hard on me. Can you do that? Can you do that? Give me an easy Since question. Jesus please. never had kids, never had a wife. Yeah, never had never kids, had never had a wife. Yes, this is the harder question yeah, now. He doesn't have like the full example. Is what? A prop. Like he can't, he can't show you how to have a kid, like how to raise your kids, how to treat your wife. Uh, so you are saying to me, was there okay, to... I will go with your logic. So in order to show us how to raise a kid, he have to have sex and raise a kid. That's mean your God Allah. He did not do his job because he have to have a kid, have a wife, have sex in the front of us, teaching us how we can take off the the wife clothes and her panty, okay, and that what Allah do. Yeah, Abdul, don't be stupid. Get lost. Jesus, he have to get married, so he can teach us an example. Well, Jesus, he gave us the example as God. Be holy like your father. Love your wife as the same as the Christ. He loved the church. That is the example. Jesus is not going to inside the house and teach me how to kiss my wife. That is a stupid. That is the I will leave that example for your prophet. Hmm? The guy who have sex with the children. What a stupid people. Anyway, guys, we are done for today. As you see, really, my, my voice is dry, my throat is really dry. I hope I'm not getting sick. <clears throat> I hardly I can swallow my uh uh, saliva i think because i i don't know maybe too much work this week so i want to say thank you don't forget to download the video share it with everybody debate between me and this guy not this guy this guy is abdul potato but the one before him he thought he's a big shake he thought he is a big deal he called me he want to expose me and what happened as usual he was demolished and nothing left over not even ashes not even ashes we burned you we burned your god your religion is a joke watch the debate from the beginning for those who just joined after we finish go back go to zero we start from the beginning of the video and see what happened and how islam is the most stupid religion and remember here we are debating a sheikh he is an arab he's from the middle east not a guy like this guy who not to you know two arabic uh, words a person who who is a challenging me chasing me i want to expose you christian prince he is ready if this is the ready what about the one is not ready your guess thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you don't forget to subscribe and share and tell your friends about what we do and everything we do for his glory not for the glory of a man not for a christian prince christian prince is no one you don't even know who i am you don't even know my name you don't even how i look you have never met me and maybe I will never meet you. We do it only for his glory. The truth will set you free. And he is the truth. He said, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the last. Time started by him and will end by him. He will come with the glory of his angels. 
He is right now listening to us. He is the one who forgives sin. And the guy who was debating me, he said, only God, only Allah can forgive sin. But Jesus in the Bible forgives sin. And yet they say to us, where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. He did. He act. And he showed us that he's God. He said to the Jews, which one is easier? To say to him, your sin is forgiven, or to say to him, carry your bed and run. And he did both. That is my Lord. Christ is Lord, and Islam is a stupid cult about a God who is a vagina vendor, a penis maker. That is not God. That is a porn star from the Playboy magazine. We don't want that. We don't belong to that. God is holy. His heaven is holy. His name is holy. His act is holy. His promises is holy. His gift is holy, for he is holy. And holiness cannot provide something filthy. That is my God. That's my Lord. That is the name of Christ, which is extremely powerful. And by his name, we defeat the cults. By his name, we are victorious. Not by Christian prince, not by you, not by anyone, but by his name, by his holy name by his holy, holy act, by his holy teaching, we are victorious. Christ is Lord, and see you soon again. This is Christian Prince. Love you all. Take care.